Today's video is not going to be about this pimple that's like right near my eyebrow and is really annoying me. Today's video is going to be about <sighs> unraveling the contents of my handbag. watch a lot of what's in my bag videos and I found them very interesting some of them are really like mellow and chill but let's be real my bag is not clean right now I have not looked in my bag for a few months I basically just put my phone my purse my keys on top and then I just grab those things out so the contents of my bag I've noticed is starting to get really full I'm no longer no longer able to fit my phone and my purse in that bag and that is a problem so I decided I need to clean out my bag and what better way to do that than to film it and post it on YouTube so everybody can see the things that I have worthlessly been carrying around with me. I'm doing a clean through of my life. I want to clean a lot of things. First step is the contents of what I carry around with me every single day of my life. That seems like the best place to start. So let's get started. So this is my bag. Uh, let me get out of frame so you can see it. This is my bag. It is from Colette. I don't know if Colette is like an international company, but I know it's in Australia. I bought this bag for myself in March. I bought it for my birthday, actually. I decided it was my 19th birthday and I'm like, I'm going to get myself a nice bag. And I love this bag. I think I picked like the best bag for me. It's like got a lot of room comfortable it like goes with all my outfits so it's great so I'm just gonna start pulling things out and putting it aside and then I'll put it back later um, the first thing that's in my purse are my keys these are my car keys my house keys obviously that's in there next thing I have is my purse again it's from Colette it's white and rose gold I don't know why I picked that because normally I go for black accessories, but it's getting dirty now. Um, and this is when we get to the interesting stuff because I don't know what's in here. Um, first thing I've got to pull out is a tissue. Um, this one's got a chewy in it. Rubbish. Now I've got another tissue. This one's got nothing in it so I'm going to assume it was because I was cleaning my glasses. Rubbish. Um, I have a spare phone case because I bought a new phone case one time and I swapped it and put the phone case in here and I guess I never took it out. I bought that phone case a while ago so this has been in here for a while. That can go out. Next I have this little typo pouch. Um, I actually normally keep my headphones in here and just plop them in my bag so I don't lose them, but it's, it's empty, so I've got to deal with that. Um, I have a hand cream and a hair. Mm. Uh, this is the Body Shop Frosted Berries Hand Cream. Um, next, I have a plastic fork. I probably picked that up somewhere when I was having lunch or something. Next, I have more hair and a wrapper from a smoothie place I went to. Rubbish. Next I have this empty, I'm trying to hold the bag at the same time, it's getting kind of difficult. I have this empty card folder that I was planning to put all my cards in. I haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> Alright, next. Oh, I've actually got a full thing of gum in here. I thought that I didn't. I was looking for some yesterday. It's good to know. My favourite gum, if you wanted to know, is the extra white bubble mint flavour. But I don't like the like gummy ones. I like the like the hard ones. I don't know why. I've got this empty tissue packet. Next I have a receipt for Chemist Warehouse. Because I've got these Travacom bracelets that I got and well my mum bought them and she's like can I just chuck them in your bag and I haven't given them back to her yet so they're mine now. Next. Oh gee. I have a whole pocket full of my jewellery. 
That's right. I was wearing a whole bunch of jewellery a couple of weeks ago because I was going to a job interview. And um, after I got out of the job interview, my hands were all sweaty. So I took all of my rings and bracelets off and chucked them in my bag because I was like, I just, no, I'm not wearing them. I have a hand sanitizer gel. This is the Soap and Glory Handmade Fresh fl Fruity Floral Scented Antibacterial Hand Cleansing Gel. There's a whole bunch of other words on there, but I'm not reading it out. This is my favorite hand sanitizer. Um, they're like four bucks, which I guess is maybe kind of expensive. And then to go along with that, I have the... More hair. Great. I have the Hand Food Hand Cream, also by Soap and Glory, because their stuff just smells great. This... I have hairs everywhere. This one... Mm, it, it's the sweet lime and vanilla flavor but basically it smells like a lime spider and if you don't know what a lime spider is it's lime flavored lemonade with ice cream in it and it goes all like creamy and it just smells great and it tastes great and that i kid you not it's exactly what this smells like i have a piece of paper oh uh, these were the questions to a job interview that i just recently went to i didn't get the job by the way so okay Next I have this empty coin purse because I was planning on keeping all my cash in here and all my cards in there and I don't know why, that seems really illogical. It's empty, I don't know why it's in there. Next we have a loyalty card for that smoothie place that I was talking about, it's called Feeling Fruity. Next we have another tissue. I don't really want to know what's in there, let's just throw that out. Next I have a flyer for Cactus Country. It's this place up near, up in Strathmerton, and it's like this massive cactus like farm place. And apparently, you can like pay to go in and walk around all these cactuses, and it's like good for Instagram photos and something. So I got a flyer because I was like, I'm gonna maybe me and my cousin will go up there one time for a little trip, get some cute cactus photos. I like cactuses. We have an empty chewy wrapper, as I expected. I have another chewy wrapper, but it has one single chewy in it. That's good. Um, I have a hair tie. I'm normally always struggling to find them. I have a plastic fork, which I'm assuming I picked up with the plastic knife from before. I'm going to say I went for lunch somewhere and chucked them in my bag. Next, I have a raffle ticket. I can't even remember exactly what that could be from, but I'm assuming I didn't win. I have a smushed up Carmen's fruit nut bar. I probably just couldn't see it. Next, I have a lid to a perfume. This is a perfume. This is my favorite perfume. I don't know how to say this word here but it's the rose essential perfume this is the mini one that i keep in my bag it is the best smelling perfume it's my favorite so. then i've got another hair tie with lots of hair on it lucky my camera's not good enough for you to see all that hair i have this is a chocolate from santuros that I'm pretty sure I got on my birthday because we went to Santuro's on my birthday. And I think I just put it in there and now it's been there for so long I'm scared to eat it. So, yeah, I don't know why it's in there. I have another hair tie. This one is clean. No hair on it. I don't know why I threw that. I have some Lens Bright lens cleaner because this is why all my tissues are in my bag i spray my lenses and clean them my glasses get extremely dirty and i hate when my glasses are dirty so i got some of that in there good to know where that was i've again been looking for it next i have another hair tie glad i've been buying more because i couldn't find them i have this which you know if this is TMI for you, whatever. I'm sure every girl's bag has this. They're emergency tampons and pads, so that's what that is. We're getting to the end. I have 
another hair tie with a bobby pin attached to it. I was looking for a bobby pin the other day, so that's cool. Um, I have a lip balm, which I actually made. It's a peppermint lip balm that I made from essential oils and waxes and other natural stuff. I don't know. I tried it. It's, it's pretty good. It's alright. I have... I have this thing right here which is a little pouch a green and kind pouch because I purchased some reusable bamboo utensils and I hate them I don't like the bamboo ones at all they have splinters all over them they were like cutting my lips they stained they were really hard to wash they were just not good so I just went and got some cheap stainless steel ones to chuck in here so I've got a fork a spoon a knife and my um, green and kind straw it does make my bag clunk a little bit but honestly it's been all right because it's been trapped under all these tissues so I think we're just about done I have another hair tie I have another bobby pin and this is a USB I don't remember exactly why I have a USB in my purse. I guess it could be handy if I ever needed it, but I don't think I've ever used it, so I don't know why it's in there. And if I check the pockets, yeah, that is, apart from all this dust, that is everything that is in my bag. Hope you somewhat found this funny. I know I'm embarrassed that I've been carrying around like a handful of dirty tissues in my purse for months now. It's definitely been months. I would really like you to comment down below um, something that you keep in your purse yourself that you think is a bit different, maybe a bit funny, maybe it's a bit handy for you and you think other people should know that they need to carry it around. Yeah, comment something like that down below. I promise I will reply to all of my comments I love replying to comments it's actually my favorite thing about doing YouTube and yeah I hope you subscribe and stick around I have a bunch of new videos that I am planning to start pumping out so subscribing would keep you up to date with that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you some other time bye